like I say, thank you all again for coming. Hope you enjoyed the show. I think I'm going to lead it off right here with one called Alan Jackson calls When Love Comes Around. Six spells, so our big six spells. Glad you're back too.
I want to say it's amazing what you'll forget in two weeks. <laughs> Tell them, Daryl. But it feels good. I'm glad to be back. Thank y'all. Yeah, we're glad to have y'all back. Yes, we are. Absolutely. While y'all waiting, I got to tell y'all this joke. It's a Halloween joke. I know it was last week, but uh, anyway, I run across it this week. This guy's coming back from the party, and he was, there was no foggy Halloween night, you know, and he got to hearing something bumpity bumpity bump behind him. He turned around and kept looking directly through the fog. He seen this casket coming, bump, 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 just coming. So he looked again. He got to speeding up, and the casket speeded up. He got to running, the casket got to running. He was getting scared. He finally made it to his house. He opened the door and closed it and locked it real quick. What was just a few seconds of casket, bam, busted through that door. He went to scream and holler and run upstairs, run to the bathroom, locked the door there. Well, sure enough, bump the bump, come up the stairs, come to the casket. He got to the door and kicked it in, right on in on him. He went to grabbing things, trying to throw it in. He picked up a, a bottle of cough syrup and he threw it and he hit that casket right there. And what happened? What happened? The coffin stopped. Oh, Lord. Good. Good Lord. Where'd he hit, hit, where'd he hit him at? He went there to catch the rapper. Hee-haw. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? When he hit that casket with that ball of cough syrup, the coffin stopped. The coffin. 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 <laughs> Y'all make welcome Mr. Bob Guy over here on the guitar. Watch here. Here's he thinks he's a great glass so hard your hair come out. I seen that walk up. <laughs> Son of a farmer, small town southern man. Like his daddy, daddy before he brought our work in the land. Fell in love with a small town woman that they married up sundown. Not your way of life if you're lucky for a small town southern man. There came four pretty daughters from the small town southern man. And a few years later came another, oh boy, it wasn't planned. Seven people living all together in a house built with his own hands. Little words of love and understanding from a small town southern man. His head to Jesus, and he stood for Uncle Sam, and he only loved one woman. He was always proud of what he had. He laid his greatest contribution is a one you leave behind. Raised on the way of gentle kindness of a small town southern man. Just to keep it all together and keep his family on his land. Like his daddy, years wore out his body, made it hard just to walk and stand. You can break the back, but you can't break the spirit of a small town southern man. You can drive, but you can't break the spirit of a small town southern man. said to Jesus, and he stood for Uncle Sam, and he only loved one woman. He was always proud of what he had. He said his greatest contribution is a one you leave behind. Raised on the way of gentle kindness of a small town southern man. Death 
It came calling for this small town southern man. He said it's all right cause I see the angels and they got me by the hand. Don't you cry and don't you worry, I'm blessed and I know I am. Cause God has a place in heaven for a small town southern man.